What was the most disturbing thing that you witnessed? When I was in the mobile team, on, uh, in 1977, when they start to uh, killing people like soldier, or teacher, or government worker, or student, I saw they tie up family, they tie up in line. Even the little one, they tie them up too. I saw they walk on the street and they all like like a ghost face on their face already. They I feel seem like they know what going to happen to them. They couldn't cry anymore. I don't think they can cry anymore beside the sad face. I I walked by, I couldn't even look at them. I I, did, I barely look at them because they look when I look at them I feel like I see the ghost walking alive. And I can't imagine that. Could they tell me about my parents too? Before they uh, bring them to kill. They do the same thing to those people that they tie up on the road. And they beat them up so so bad before they kill. And punishment, you name it. If you steal a little bit thing, they kill you too. And I never know at that time this one boy in a I don't know them but we come together from different village in the mobile team. And he stole uh, some food from me. He's about two or three years year older than me. And uh, I was when I saw him I woke up at midnight. I saw his, he's in the head, he, on my, uh, where I sleep, where I sleep, and uh, I saw he had uh, my rice in his hand, and I was yelled so loud, and the, uh, the Khmer Rouge soldier, they took him, and they beat him up like, a little bit far away from uh, where I sleep, but we can hear him. He was yielding for help and everything, and I was feel so terrified. And I never know that because of stealing a little bit, that boy was killed that day. They beat them up until they die. He died, and I feel so bad about that. And if I know that, I won't. I won't say anything. I will tell him that go away. Don't take my food. But I never know that they they got punishment simply because stealing food is the death penalty. Everything is zero tolerance. If you make one mistake, you're dead. And I never think that I can see the sky or the bright light every day in my life at that time. That three years and eight months is a dark day like living in hell and I never know when it's going to uh, move on or happen or when I'm going to see the sunlight I never think of it never think of it I hope less hope less especially when I know that my parent and my brother was taken away and got here I said I said what the point for me to live I don't want to live anymore. No. It's no meaning for me to live by myself. I just want to end it like them too. But they, I don't know why they didn't kill me at that time. They're still keeping me and using me in a, in a mobile team. Even though I was sick and lie down on the, on the ground, they still don't kill me too.